So now that um, Angela knows that Ghost is Ghost, um, does she still have his best interests at heart? How is that going to play out this season? You know, yes, in the sense that for her, his best interest is being a law-abiding citizen. Mm -hmm. um, and he promises her that Ghost is dead. And so she wants to do everything within her power to make the relationship work, but within the within that parameter, like being a murdering drug dealer isn't negotiable for Angela. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, because that offends her sense of what is right. So as long she she has she has some moral flexibilities to a point, but killing people and sell, selling drugs for a living like is beyond the pale for her. So <laughs> That's not yeah, like I think she does. She wholeheartedly loves him and wants the vision that she saw him as a boy for him to step into as a man. Um, I even get the feeling that she's gonna have to choose between her career and her love life. Um, in this season. Can you guys touch on that a bit? Is she going to have to like make a decision between her love life and her career? Well, I mean, I think, you know, Courtney Kemp, our show's creator, she's, she's always, um, she got obviously a whole bunch of talents, but uh, Leela and I always have appreciated that the way she's approached the characters is to write them in a way where there's, there's a truth to what they're doing, that the average fan home watching can go, well, that's truthful, that's valid, legitimate, um, you know, boring, what have you. And then there's another side that Courtney will, will branch off the tree of that character and it'll be something that makes you stay at the couch and watch the show, which is actually the thing that's most exciting and that's the person, as, as Leela appropriately stated, being of moral flexibility. Uh, dare I say, going all the way to like immoral, immoral, immoral uh, moves. Ghost is immoral. She knows that. She's fully aware of it. He's doing things that are immoral. I think the problem is you can't have a show about two people that love each other so much who we start out the show showing love each other so much that they're recanting the moment when she left, why she left, what she should have said to her parents, He's saying he never got over her leaving. You can't have that if that's the way we've started the show or season one showed their relationship to be and it not be one of those things where there's no way she can make that choice. I mean, the choice perhaps is made whenever this cool show comes to an end, but I don't think in the crux of the show, in the climax of the series, that you could have her making that decision. It, it gives no credence to how much she loves the guy. It doesn't, it doesn't work. It's counterintuitive to you know, her affinity for this dude, even though this dude is, like she said, beyond her moral compass. Well, yeah, she's fighting, she's fighting for that seed in him that she knows is good. What y'all do as women. Right. You know y'all do, y'all, uh, yeah, no, So it's like, do. with, you know, her job is out of a federal prosecutor, and so that goes in line with her sense of justice and conscience. So it's not so much that she has to choose between ghost and her job, it's like, how far can he push it before he crosses the line? The big difference between Tasha and Angela is Tasha is totally fine that he's a drug dealer. She's annoyed that he's a club owner, but that's not crossing the line mm -hmm. for her. Mm -hmm. Angela loves that he's a club owner. Being a drug dealer actually crosses the line. Mm -hmm. And so that's... An extremity. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a line in the sand. And he promises to her the ghost is dead, and that's done. And so season three is seeing him navigate those waters. And um, lastly, I want to know, do people ever get mad at you guys in real life? You guys are like everyone's guilty pleasure. Have you guys ever dealt with any, like, angry fans? <laughs> On another or... <laughs> level. I mean, you know, it's easier for me. I will always vow, and jo Joe's the same way, um, to protect Leland and the Tory, so I'll answer the question. And this is probably telepathy between Leland and I at this moment, but... I'm protecting her from having to say how bad it gets for her. It's horrible. It gets horrible. It gets bad for me. It's horrible for her. I mean, which ironically, doesn't that just speak to how frenzied the fans are for this show? But it's not necessarily that comforting when folks are following her in the bathroom and threatening her on social media. That shit happens. But well, that means we're doing, you know, again, Leela's doing a hell of a job playing 
that thing or whatever that yeah, is, whatever th- that archetype is. I think the thing that know? gets really uncomfortable is as an actor, you have no control what your characters say or do. Your job is to make it as believable, to make believe, to make <laughs> people believe that it's real. And so then when people then transfer that then to you as a human as being, a human being, being like, because you do such a good job, you must be that and then come after you. It's pretty, that's it's pretty amazing. It's, <laughs> I have, but I actually don't give people a pass where I just call it ignorance. I don't think it's ignorance because I think human beings. No, know. It's, it's, an, it's, it's an indulgent it's, it's something else hatred. Going on. Yeah, there's something going that, on. That uh, something yeah, else. It's something but it's else. interesting. It's a, that's why I said archetype because the show is. Uh, you know, I know you have to get going, but the show is imbued with several archetypes. So the archetypes, whether Lila Loren was playing one. Whether Omari Harder's playing another, whether the J- Joe Shakur, he's playing the cool white boy, right? This oh, it's an archetype. Great act. I wouldn't have wanted to do a show where the actors are parallel to an archetype. They have to be deeper than the archetype. But because they're deeper and more talented than the archetype, it's making people go crazy about an archetype that they go crazy about if Leela wasn't playing it. Anyway, the mistress, the mistress not African American, oh, I can go for days. The non African American viewership doesn't care that she's not African American but they might care about her playing the archetype of a mistress. So when you're a deep, soulful, very talented actress or actor, you're playing an archetype that some people are already shooting bullets at. And now you put your face on that archetype, it only exacerbates the scenario. So we've learned a lot, I've learned a lot. I've worked for 13 years as an actor, but this show's made me go, damn, people really take this stuff in a different way. As, as Leela said, in an indulgence that we're not used to. It's not necessarily ignorance, so it's interesting. That sucks because you're totally lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for season I like the way she said, that sucks. <laughs>